language that speaks a better message than Abel's. Amen. We have come to Mount Zion, the city of peace, the residence of the living God, and to the festive assembly of thousands of angels. We are taking part in a joint celebration with Heavenly Ecclesia, the congregation of the firstborn, whose names have been written in the heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and spirits of the righteous who have perfected, and to the mediator of the new covenant, covenant the Yeshua, the, and to the sprinkled blood that sanctions humankind's innocence, and to the language that speaks a better message than Abel's. We have come to Mount Zion, the city of peace, the residence of the living God, and to the festive assembly of thousands of angels. We are taking part in a joint celebration with Heavenly Ecclesia, the congregation of the firstborn, whose names have been written in the heavens, and to the God, the judge of all, and the spirit of the righteous who have been perfected, and to the mediator of the new covenant, the Yeshua, and to the sprinkled blood that sanctions human kind innocence, and to the language that speaks a better message than evils. We have come to Mount Zion, the city of peace, the residence of the living God, and to the festive assembly of thousands of angels. We are taking part in a joint celebration with Heavenly Ecclesia, the congregation of firstborn, whose names have been written in the heavens, and to God, the judge of all, and spirits of righteous who have perfected and to the mediator of a new covenant, Yeshua, and to sprinkle blood that sanctions humankind's innocence, and to the language that speaks a better message than evils. We have come to Mount Zion, the city of peace, the residence of the living God, and to the festive assembly of thousands of angels. We are taking part in a joint celebration with Heavenly Ecclesia, the congregation of firstborn whose names have been written in the heavens, and to God, the judge of all, and spirits of the righteous who have perfected, and to the mediator of a new covenant, the Yeshua, and to sprinkle blood that sanctions humankind's innocence and to the language that speaks a better message than English. Guys, anyone want to lead today? Any volunteer to lead? Okay, just sit down, go ahead. We have come to Mount Zion, the city of peace, the residence of the living God, and to the festive assembly of thousands of angels. We are taking part in a joint celebration with the heavenly Ecclesia, the congregation of firstborn, whose names have been written in the heavens, and to God, the judge of all, and spirits of the righteous who have perfected and to the mediator of a new covenant, the Yeshua, and, and to sprinkle blood that sanctions humankind's innocence and to the language that speaks a better message than Abel's. We have come to Mount Zion, the city of peace, the residence of the living God and to the festive assembly of thousands of angels. We are taking part in a joint celebration with the heavenly Ecclesia, the congregation of firstborn whose names have been written in the heavens and to God, the judge of all and spirits of the righteous 
who have perfected and to the mediator of a new covenant, the Yeshua, and to sprinkle blood that sanctions humankind's innocence, and to the language that speaks a better message than Abel. You all can hear the music? Yeah, but yes. you can still, if you could re reduce the volume, it would be good. Is it okay now? Uh, no, now we can't hear. You can't hear? Uh, yeah, uh, now it's fine. Oh. It's gone. Now it's fine? No, it's gone now. Now? No. Okay, one moment. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Music is okay? Yeah. Okay, see, it's always good if you volunteer to lead because this is, we are going to our father's house, okay? So, if you lead, it will give you more freedom to engage in the future alone. So, I mean, you lead, I will also speak when necessary, but I want you to somebody to lead it. Okay, I will start. Okay. We have come to the celebration of the congregation of saints, the Ecclesia in heaven. And uh, we are seeing heavenly angels, all types of angels. We are seeing the firstborn. We are seeing the justified, perfected saints. We are seeing ourselves. We are seeing Yeshua. We are seeing the presence of God. In His presence is fullness of joy. His presence is changing us. We are becoming more and more like Him. In His presence, the mountains melt like wax. We continue in this celebration of joy, peace, wonder. I see the spirit of understanding one of the beings that are created to train us and mature us. I see spirit of understanding taking the center stage and filling us with its color.
father is saying in the midst of darkness you are my beacons of hope and father is saying i'm churning everything i'm churning everything in your life with understanding so that you will know why the storms have come saying out of the storms will appear my beacons of hope spirit of understanding give us understanding of all things give us understanding of everything what we do i see the spirit of understanding is removing the mask of things that are around or within ourselves once the mask is been removed we'll get an understanding i see the angels who are uh, you know the angels that create the realm they are like uh, wheels wheels with the wheels father is saying my sons come and sit on the throne and this is not the throne normal we sit where the throne is stationary but i see under the throne is these angels which are you know creator realm you see in ezekiel where wheels within wheels so i what we saw in ezekiel chapter 1 is as it's not god we in our mature position ezekiel 1 and ezekiel 10 so sit on the throne let us cover ourselves with the spirit of understanding i see many sons sitting on a throne and there is something like a a big glass or a pot in their hand and they are cheering one another and they are drinking drink of peace while they are on the throne and i see people from many nations many tribes the different different kind of attires they have they're all rejoicing in the presence of god because god allowed or brought them onto the throne to give them freedom to rule and reign in this year and i see the spirit of understanding is very essential for ruling and spirit of understanding also gives ability to see so it's an time to paint green and we heard the messages earlier let's paint red city red but it's a time to paint green any land that is filled with green is a land which has understanding and if you see israel it is never green
father is saying it is a time that you should discover the power of your food our feet the scripture says the earth is a food stool of god you need to get a revelation of it food just not just represents our resting while we are sitting on the throne when we rest our food we need to rest and also it signifies our walking walking from our old to new Father is saying, "You are my architects." You know, when we go to some of the nations like Turkey or some of the nations which have very beautiful architecture, we are saying, "You are my architect." That means we are here to build things that looks beautiful and unique. father is swing as his finger and he's saying touch my finger feel me you know there is a scripture that says if he cast out you know by the finger of god so spirit of understanding give us ability the significance of finger father is saying you are my feet and you are my finger enter into a new reality and just use a finger of your power just touch with what you are don't show for the entire hand just touch a small touch of yours is enough father is saying it is a time for you to wear new garments put on new garments is also giving us a hat this hat looks like a war war hat when people go to a war they wear a hat kind of helmet of salvation kind of thing so put on a new hat father is saying now as you put on a new garment and new hat and as you are my feet and a finger now 
enter into the whirlwind or a storm that you are in you saying keep your feet on the storms that you are going through enter into the storm as we enter into the storm i see that some of the fallen angels they have a council they are sitting on a council and they are planning something which is against us father is saying just touch it so father we put our finger into the seam what we see and we touch it father and i see as we just touch the entire council is disappeared and i see in the place of council the landscape is changed now i see many houses with hope well decorated houses with hope and i see many muslim women or they're turning into a saints and i see many of the catholic nuns they're also turning into the saints and they're all joining into the celebration I just feel this Islam is created by Jainist to to counter growth of Christianity and also to create a turmoil on the earth. and uh, i see there is a blindfolded they are blindfolded and i see even their spirits are blindfolded father we touch the finger i see the sea of faith the sea of transparency arising guys feel free to speak the number of people are increasing the congregation is increasing more and more i can see the innovation what god is doing through us through his sons and daughters creativity uh, we are trend setters we are creating all new things in whatever we do we are getting uh, connected father is saying you see scoop down and see you know many times there is so much heavenly focus we don't see around us he's saying just see as you see mountains will melt like wax 
I receive, you give life. More and more people are drawn and attracted to the presence of God. Yeah. To the joy of the Lord. Yes. His presence is uh, flowing very fast, massive, very quick. Amen. I see, and I the see we, we like are a magnet. Yeah, I see we are, you know, hopping or jumping over the mountains like a hind. So wherever our feet goes on the mountain, that realm, that position, that mountain is taken. Our bodies are becoming stronger and stronger. And I see Father, the cloud of... Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead please. Yeah. Father is saying we are his daily delight. We are his family. We are his new ecclesia. We are beyond anything God has ever created. The kingdom of heaven is inside of us. Father is saying we are his blueprint. Father is saying, earth is mine. And he's asking us to say, everyone please repeat, earth, earth is, is mine. My earth is mine. Earth is mine and we are responsible for the earth. Earth is mine and we are responsible for the earth. And I see, you know, Father is giving us each pair, each one of us, each pair of shoes. And these shoes are like a trekking shoes. Put on the shoes. He's saying, go around to and fro of the earth. And he's saying, turn upside down everything that has a chaos. We are walking into the new realms. And as you turn, as you turn up and down things around, you know, confusion, and there will create a portal or a ladder to ascend and descend. So there are many ladders on the earth which are turned upside down, not ladders, but the, wherever the ladder lands, the surrounding place is turned upside down with an intention that will not look up. Father, we touch with our finger and we turn around things, Father. We turn upside down. Everything that exalted by even above the knowledge of Christ will turn upside down. Every twisted thing we make it straight. As we touch it, Father, let there be a justice. Let there be a fresh wind. The wind of hope. Or let the smell of your new garments spread forth the fragrance of the hope.
and what we turned around i see it turning into a beautiful beautiful place with you know very artistic work of clothes see i i believe one of the thing that we have we are gifted with is creativity which we are not focusing because of the storms because of the confusion around us once we come to our senses i see you know the creativity is opening and the you know out of creativity you know as god has created it's like you know you can paint it like you know you can paint a horse and horse will run you know so we have a ability to create so he's saying the world around you is a canvas space as you paint you create if you if you paint a bird the bird will become alive so he's giving that creativity which we are embedded with is invoking the creativity within us and spirit of understanding gives that ability to understand our creativity we embrace the spirit of understanding god is saying go about the earth into the atmosphere and see how the earth looks because you said earth is mine what is yours you explore go to and fro and see and speak life and father is giving a goggles today is giving many gifts so we are a goggle and these goggles when we wear what happens is we can see god's print his desire on the issues so it's like a new understanding you will receive as you see things as you see people as you see situations you will see the god's handiwork in it which is heaven you know uh, uh, the fallen angels of camouflage and i see it's a full of stadium but you know very few people and uh, they're sitting on a council so god is bringing a taking us to a place where in a small council of sons and daughters sit sit on this council each one of you and hear what the council is speaking and the council father is talking ah oh, go ahead go ahead father is saying do not limit yourself i have frequency in your voice i have put frequency in your voice to root out pull down destroy throw down build so do not limit yourself i see in this congregation each one of us is given something like a broom it's a cleaning thing okay and he's saying with understanding clear of the dust saying you will see my creativity when you remove the disappointments of loss disappointments of rejection disappointment of failure and i see from the congregation this small group of people everyone is flying into a different direction 
and as we are flying the angels ophims that wheels within wheels are coming along with us they are actually below our throat Father is saying, "My government is upon your shoulders. Take responsibility of cleaning up the dust, so that my understanding will be seen." God is saying, "I am raising the standards within you." I see very huge angels who are hovering over the earth. He's saying, "Do not run away from the storm, but enter into a storm to bring peace. Do not run away from the problem, <coughs> but enter into a problem to bring it peace." As Jesus spoke. is be saying you speak into the storms in your life into others life and that's it earth is mine speak earth is mine earth is mine earth is mine, earth is mine. earth is mine and i take responsibility earth is mine, earth is mine and i take responsibility earth is mine and i'm spreading his love his wisdom and as we are you know speaking i see you know nations people from different nations are walking to father and father embracing them father is saying many of my sons and daughters they are in sackcloth they are in a mourning mode give them new garments is saying spread your hands your hand is not shorter than mine as my hand can reach anywhere anything you can also reach anywhere and anything do not limit yourself spread out your hand and touch is saying anything mankind and build on the earth in a fallen mindset is even not equal or in a stature equal to your needs that means anything mankind has created like pyramid or whatever they say it's very high you know even the tower of babel what they you know created or built saying that it will not will not i mean the height or the stature of it will not come up to your knees He's saying you're far above all these things you are my building you are my house and you know you are what god is saying to us you are the beautiful of all of my creation we see nature we see you know the seas fishes creatures and we say they are beautiful god is saying you are more beautiful than all of these saying you are my best of the best creation Father is saying it is a time for you to be my feet.
we are his wonder and we are creating wonders we are his exhale we are breathing his breath and we, everything is changing we are carrying his power we are carrying his presence we are carrying what he wants us to carry and that is spreading all over the nations or world we are touching things we are transforming things we are walking with him united and entangled with him what he sees we are seeing what he speaks we are speaking we are getting uh, consumed uh, merged bridged with him we are getting tuned we are getting tuned to him we are hearing him continuously as we hear we speak as we speak everything changes is saying help the helpless uplift the downtrodden and as you walk as my feet you create a new teach what is happiness teach what is love express his love to others imitate him be mindful of him is saying before you as you walk all the monuments the big things of the earth will fall like a wax is saying whatever that on earth will stand is you because you are my architect you are my building you are my creation and everything has to be a footstool before you it's not just every anything or everything exalted about jesus christ but he's saying anything or everything that is exalted above mankind has to fall down there is nothing valuable more valuable than us for we touch the culture which create things above mankind for we touch the mountains that were created and think they are about the mankind we touch the economy father economy is not about mankind we touch the creative mountain father creativity is not more than mankind as we are touching i see the people are influenced by these mountains are started to see open their eyes and i see tears even though they consider themselves be on the mountain but i see the tears and i see many of them are slowly coming down from the mountain I touch the mountain of health nothing is above mankind there is no absolutely no thing is above mankind i touch the governments the mountain of governments that are above mankind and as we are touching i see those areas have become chaos so father is saying throw the life jackets so that my people will not drown who are thinking that they are control of the world control of these mountains so father we throw the life jackets father so they will not drown but they will float father we release hope 
release the hope and the trust of the child like father father we touch the mountain of the religion father and even the mystical mountain I see, you know, like a blood is taking away everything. I I touch as I touch the mountain of religion or a mystical mountain or a mountain. They think they are above mankind. If we touch the idea of every mankind thinking that they are above God, that's it, Father. Father is saying, "Power is yours. Take it." Saying, "Enough of enough of words and preaching." my kingdom is not words of philosophy or words of ideas but it's a power power to give life power to set orders in life power to remove all the scales from their eyes and their bodies power to bring life power to build and plant saying as you are destroyed it's a time to build and plant father in unison along with the cliche of heaven father we release light into everything that we destroyed father we touch the cages the prison cells of mankind the ideas that made prison a people father we touch it father father is saying you are my glory and as we are touching i see the fallen angels some of the angels who are who have taken the best of the best of mankind is now throwing up everything that which people lost they received everything that enemy has taken from people now is giving back i see the huge angels fell like a dead body but this angel has a eye and with with the open eye lying on the ground the angel is looking at us as we are looking at this angel i see the angel is also being set free from the deception from the scales that has come upon its body and i see this angel with now a beautiful wings but the wings are not fully grown in sense the you know the it's going up but it's very beautiful color and this angel actually is designed to protect but instead of protecting it's trying to extort control and destroy and deceive mankind i see many of the children especially girl childs set free now and they are in you know that white gown and you know 
rose color you know it's it's white but you know around it it's like a rose and uh, you know it's a royal attire you know the children are converting and i see they are filling with colors colors of hope see the celebration i see heaven is rejoicing what is happening on the earth there is celebration they are celebrating they are singing they are dancing song of victory father is saying today you are not only my sons i call you your matured sons in father's eyes okay i can see the tears the tears joyful tears they are making joyful sound such a joy in heaven what is happening on earth thank you father thank you we will continuously in this place and continuously continuously walk with you father and your sons and daughters thank you for everything every responsibility that you have given us father thank you thank you guys anyone wanted to say anything